Hello everyone. Welcome to our poster titled Long Time Scale Structural Dynamics Based Mutation Analysis of GNE Myopathy Variants in the Indian Subcontinent. My name is Raghavatman Yanamali and I am here presenting a poster on the GNE Myopathy gene product which is an autosomal recessive hereditary condition which causes progressive skeletal muscle, muscle weakening in the distal muscles. This particular protein is a bifunctional UDP N acetyl 2 epimerase and an N acetyl manosamine kinase protein, which is consisting of two domains. The GNE myopathy results in the defects in the skeletal muscles, which leads to muscular atrophy. Our objective was to analyze the pre previously reported data of isoform 2 variation of GNE the wild type and the two mutations isoleucine 618 to 309 and valin 727 to methionine and their functional dynamics using molecular dynamics simulation. Isoleucine 618 to threonine is considered as the most pathogenic mutation among the Indian population and valin 727 to methionine is considered as the least pathogenic mutation. Our objective was to use the deep learning based protein structure prediction methods like alpha fold and rosetta fold to understand the mechanism of action of these proteins along with the mutations. The method we have used is we have took the list of myopathy mutations, we have come up to two mutants and we have used alpha fold and rosetta fold and have done the prediction and we obtained very high quality protein structures. Using ProCheck, we performed the analysis and found that these proteins are the coordinates are uh, of good quality in nature. And we conducted a molecular dynamic simulation for the isoform 2, the isoform 1 and the two mutants from alpha fold and similarly four structures from rosetta fold. Thus, we did 0.5 microsecond analysis of eight protein structures cumulative to a 4 microsecond data. As you can see isoform 1, isoform 2 they show different dynamics based on the co collapsing of the domains and similarly with the valin 727 mutant and the isoleucine 618 mutant. Comparing the mutant structures between the valin 727 isoleucine 618 along with the isoform 2 the wild type we see that there is stark differences in the domain respect to epimerase or with the kinase we also performed interacting shell residues akin to electron shell where the mutator mutation is the nucleus the first shell of interaction residues are the ones that interact with the mutant and the second shell are the residues that interact with the shell one residues and so on what we see in table 1 is that there are some interactions depending on the directionality whether going from outer to inner shown in yellow or inner to outer shown in blue that some residues are the interactions are lost. We also did the global quality checking of the simulation where we plotted the root mean square deviation and the root mean square fluctuation of the residues and we found that in the mutant there are very high fluctuations observed. We also compared the time dependent contact map of the residue with respect to the entire trajectory. So what you see in figure is that at the center is the, the residue of interest and the thickness of the line that connects the another residue indicates the time duration of the interaction whether it is long lived or not. We see that certain interactions are lost compared to the mute, uh, native to the mutant certain interactions are gained and there is even within those interactions we see that there is a significant increase or decrease in the values which indicates that due to the mutation the protein structure is somehow doing an internal rearrangement to make it a bit more stable however compared to the isoleucine 618 to valin 727 we find that isoleucine 618 has starked 
differences compared to the other mutant using a first principle method of contact order based method we also see that certain interactions are very significant as can be seen and certain interactions are being not significant here so in conclusion we studied the mutations of the dominant isoform 2 of the indian population along with the most pathogenic and least pathogenic variant we found that the interactions around the residues are different and there is some interactions lost and some interactions gained we do find that isolysin 618 has more interactions lost than the valin 727 this indicates that there is a correlation between the structural changes and the phenotype of the mutants thank you and let me know if you have any questions